pro tip. When you've got a wedding, don't move house on the same day. Terrible idea. So I've just made it to today's office, basically. I'm at the Mill Barns in Alverley, I think it's called, near Bridge North, Kidderminster. I've actually done a wedding vlog here before, a couple of years ago, so check that out if you want to see what I looked like a, a few kilograms ago. And yes, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit wet and windy today, but we'll, the, the genius of this venue is you don't really need to worry about the wet weather because there's so much opportunity to shoot when the weather is bad. Um, so one thing I want to talk to you about is cameras. So I've got the 6D and my new EOS R. I've got, two, I've got 35 and 85. The things I'll be looking for for the EOS R today are battery life, how good the battery life is, and how good the low light performance is. And what was the other thing? Dynamic range. Dynamic range doesn't bother me so much because I have to try and get it right in camera, which is obviously what every photographer should do anyway. Um, but it will be quite cool to see how far I can push things if I do make any mistakes. Uh, and the other thing was focus, autofocus, how fast it is and how accurate it is. So I'm going to be, yeah, might be a bit of a teething process in this morning, but that's why I'm here nice and early. So yeah, let's get stuck in. What an introduction. So this is Tommy Civil, everybody. You've probably seen Tom before. He's on the vlog, everybody. Tommy Civil, yeah. Which bit are you looking at? Uh, the lens. I love it. Yeah. And we're shooting together, but he's obviously shooting video today. He's gimbaled up to the teeth. So we've just got to go find our bride, get some bridal prep done. And yeah, so we've got two hours, two and a half hours till ceremony. So a lot of time to work out how to use this camera. Because I ain't got a clue. So one thing I've really got to get used to this morning quite quickly is the, is the electronic viewfinder or the EVF as it's also known. Um, it's a bit strange to, to have an electronic virtual reflection of life, but it's kind of real. I've got my lens cup on. Oh no, I'm at one eight thousandth of a second, that's why. Um, so it's good. There's, I wouldn't say there's a lag, but it's, it's, it's just takes, it looks like you're playing Call of Duty sort of thing. So you just gotta get used to that. And, and for that reason, I think I will always prefer a mirror because it's just reality you see reality but the good thing is with this you can see your shot before you've taken it with your settings so another thing i'm going to be doing as well is changing my focus mode so if i just show you if i press still navigating this camera in the menu so if i press the q which means quick for the quick access to the menu my autofocus because i'm pretty old school I like to set my autofocus to center point and focus and recompose. So I'm going to be going between that and the, I think I'm going to go with the zone autofocus. So I'm going to change the, 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 the center the zone with my finger if I need to, and it should pick up those, those points of contrast within the zone. Uh, but I don't know if that's just a little bit too confusing for me. So I'm just going to go with focus and recompose for now until I know what I'm doing but I've taken a couple of externals outside and with this 35mm 1.4 they look pretty good so let me change back to single focus center point or single point I should say not center point because one thing I can do with that is I can actually I can actually move I can actually move that square around but I like to have it just in the middle like that so that I'm gonna half to press the shutter and then lock the focus in and then take the shot. So I haven't actually set back button focusing up yet. I do back button focus on this, but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna trust the shutter button focus. Is that suicide? I don't think so, because I think the focus on this is really good. So yeah, see what it does. So after having a play for the last hour, two hours with the EOS R, I love it. I really do like it. It's a little bit, it's just a case of learning a different method really because I'm, I'm shooting with an eye autofocus and face to tech now um, so that means I'm at the mercy of the autofocus now any autofocus system no matter how good it is will never be as good as the human eye and the brain so that's why occasionally I do flip over to center point 
and I can shoot, I can get in focus exactly what I want to get in focus. Because the camera doesn't always focus on what I want it to focus on, even though it's sharply in focus. Uh, but apart from that, I really like it. It's snappy, it's short, it's working well in low light. So, yeah, pretty happy. We're at uh, quarter past one, so we've got 45 minutes to go. And yeah, all is going really well. So I might bring you to the ceremony with me. But until then, a few more mingling shots, get some shots of the bridesmaids and groomsmen, and then meet the registrars, then into the ceremony. Look, dude, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna go over this side. Some action. Right, so we are approaching the speeches now. We've just done all the formal photos, and the, the you know that section after the ceremony where you need to get all those family photos done. So that's just been done. One thing I've noticed about the EOSR that I totally didn't consider is that my 16 gig cards are filling up a lot faster because obviously it's a 30 megapixel camera. I can't get 650 shots anymore. I can only get I can only get 400 shots to a 16 gig card. So the cards are filling up a lot faster. So I've done two 16 gig cards already and I'm onto my third. And now it is, yeah, now it's time to get head back and get some mingling shots before speeches. I think there's a magician here in there, Tom. That's, right. That's what? <laughs> so there's a magician, so let's go and get some magician -y shots. And yes, so far, first impressions with the EOS are really, really good. I've had a couple of issues with it, but nothing fatal, nothing horrendous. Just a few bugbears, but I'll go through those later. <laughs> Lovely. Good, and go for a little kiss. Uh, a nice one. Okay, awesome. Got it. Uh, if you just look into each other's eyes. Yeah. Do you mind if I just gate crush you, Tom? If I just do that. Good. And it's good. Nose to nose for me. Good. And little kissy, little snog. What is that stir fry story? Let's go for that. I was wondering where your speech was going to go at one point when you're on about the first proper kiss. <laughs> Look over there, ladies and gentlemen. Not at that gentleman eating his pie, but the golden light. The light has just turned a shade of epic in the last half an hour. So we let the bride and groom know, and we said, Look, I think it would be really good if we went out now. And they said, Yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. And we did a little lap around the block, and anyone that's worked at this venue will know that there are really nice little pockets of beautiful little micro locations within a two minute walk, 30 second walk even. So we shot into the light, we shot against the light, we, uh, yeah, we just basically got some nice portraits and stuff. And yeah, so f for me and for Tom anyway, we really feel that we can really chill once we've got those shots in the bag, those portraits, because really they are the money makers, they are your shop window. So now it's time to get a bit of food, recharge and then it's time for the evening so i've got a chance to use my new flash which i've just brought which i'll talk about in a minute so it's a cheeky little godox
flash that I heard good things about. But anyway, my arm's about to drop off because this lens is so heavy. So it's that time of the night now where it's first dance time and you always have a little bit of time just to organize your lights and stuff. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So for the first time ever, I've got the luxury of using three lights. So I've got a speed light on my camera, which is the new Godox. And I'm not going to be using that for high speed sync, nothing fancy. I'm going to be shooting at about an eighth power F1.8 ISO 200 and I'll probably change the shutter speed between a hundredth and a two hundredth of a second, something like that. And I've got two other slaves which I'll show you. So they're both set either side and I've just put them inside the speaker. So the first one is here and that is going to be set to one sixteenth power. In fact they're both set to one sixteenth power. So let me just give you a test shot. So if I take a shot like this. There we go, everything goes off. And let me just double check that actually works. It does. There you go. So that's my setup. So I'm just going to be following the bride and groom like this, spinning around, taking the shots of people in the background and obviously trying to get the lights in the back. So that's the game. Uh, all done. And another roaring success, another wedding in the bag. And it was, it was a lot of fun, this one. And Tom and I love working together. We've both finished now at the same time. And it's about 10 o'clock just gone. And we even did a couple of night portraits as well with the bride and groom. So Fran and Sean were awesome to work with all day. Super chilled out, which is really, really nice. And, and the three things that I really wanted to, questions that I wanted to answer um, about the EOS R, which I love shooting with, wasn't easy at times. The focusing system, okay, right. So first of the three things I wanted to do was low light performance. Was it any good? Unreal. Now, as a 6D user, anything over ISO 1000 is just pants, I think, in my opinion. And I was shooting dance floor shots at ISO 5000 and getting sharp, sharp shots and only a little bit of grain, but quite desirable grain. So low light, huge resounding tick. It was amazing. I've, I, I'm so liberating to be able to shoot without a flash on the dance floor. So, so I love that. Battery life, a bit worse than I thought it was going to be, actually. <laughs> I could see you, wingman. See you in a bit, mate. Have a good one. Uh, so the battery life was... Uh, the battery life was was okay, but unless I'd got it set to some uh, obscene setting that it shouldn't have been set to, I was probably getting about six to 800 shots on the, on the camera without its... Uh, uh, but, but you know before the battery ran out so I was probably getting about I changed battery in the camera about five times today or four times in a wedding day of 10 hours of shooting that's well that's quite a lot considering the 60 normally runs out of battery just before the first dance for me normally so so yeah it's not used up a lot of juice but obviously it's got a lot more things to power and the, the other thing I want to talk about is the autofocus now I didn't really like the autofocus because the single spot, I had it set to the bottom right hand of the touchscreen to actually move it around. And as cool as that is, sometimes your nose touches it and all of a sudden you're focusing on the extreme left. And you think, what, what, why, why is, you know, why is the staircase in focus and, my, you know, my couple aren't. So a couple of times I had to literally hold it and use the LCD just to get it back in focus, touch focus, and then I was uh, I was good to go. Sometimes I, I selected zone, but again, not a fan of the autofocus taking the initiative because I don't always think it makes the right decisions. And sometimes it was focusing on what was closest to the camera rather than what was in the background, and I didn't always like that. So I think it's a case of me getting to grips with, with the camera and finding something, finding some settings that I really like, but Two out of three ain't bad. So I really, really like that. So awesome day. Got some amazing photos. Can't wait to look at them on the computer. So I want to say thanks for watching this vlog. And weirdly, I've got to go to a new home. Five quid says I set the sat nav to my old house and walk in. That would be awkward. Hello. Welcome home. <laughs> this is so weird. House. Come in. Do you want these? What's this husky? Oh, yes. Ow! Oh, there's a step there. I just nearly broke my toe. 
Jesus Christ, end the vlog now, end it now. Fucking hell, that hurt. I just nearly broke my toe. Oh. Do you want to do that again? No, I'll carry on.